Um, thank you, Melissa. Just, just, just a side note when it's in interesting uh, when Mike was reading, showing the list of the former presidents and CEOs, uh, not only Don Winnie, who I worked with for about a decade when I was president of the Riparian Magazine, but one of my Explorer Scout leaders, Paul Clark, was, was one of those members. So I used to be in this Explorer uh, troop. Um, anyway, uh, MLSA has historically bestowed uh, two recognition awards of distinction over the years. One distinction is the Riparian of the Year Award provided annually to a riparian working to benefit his or her a lake, stream, or watershed. Uh, the other distinction is the MLSA Master's Jacket Award to an individual who uh, has provided many years of service to MLSA and uh, successfully assisted in furthering our goals and objectives. Uh, unlike the Riparian of the Year Award, uh, the MLSA is not given out every year, but only when the Board of Directors determines that an individual has earned this special recognition. Let's start with Riparian of the Year. This year, our Riparian of the Year Award goes to an individual who has great enthusiasm and passion for improvement projects on Spider Lake in Grand Traverse County, Carol Kusel. Carol started vacationing with her family on Spider Lake in the early 1990s and moved with her husband to live there full time in 2014. Uh, she was elected to the Spider Lake Property Owners Association in 2017 and now serves as vice president as well as co-chair of the Water Quality Committee. Uh, Carol's lake activism truly started out with her roles for Friends of Spider Lake that has inspired the Protecting Our Lakes and Shorelands webinar, webinar series. Uh, she championed many improvement initiatives in Spider Lake like drawing attention to algal blooms uh, and the connections to septic systems. Uh, also creating the Spider Lake information sheet, which includes a lake map and rules that can be shared with visitors to the lake, organizing the mobile boat wash and managing invasive species like purple loosestrife, uh, invasive phragmites, and others. She initiated loon protection for the lake, writes education articles for the association, monitors township and marine sheriff activities, reaches out to regional and statewide organizations for collaboration and so much more. Wow. Uh, so help me congratulate uh, Carol Kusel on her outstanding work for Spider Lake and beyond as our Riparian of the Year. You can't see everybody clapping, but I, Yay. I think Carol's on here somewhere. Yeah, so she is. Name. Carol, oh, there she is. Here. Okay, well, congratulations, Carol. I'm sure, is she muted too? um nope she's not she she can talk to us okay thank you thank you so much um i'm honored i'm grateful I, i'm grateful to all to oh. all i i think can ever i i maybe everyone else can hear you sometimes you cut out a little bit i'll i'll continue can you hear me mm -hmm. yes I'm grateful to all who were involved in selecting me. I'm grateful to all who went before me in inspiring a love of nature and a desire for a deeper understanding of the intricate balance of everything on this good earth. That even includes my childhood suburban hometown, which offered weekly daily uh, day trips to Kensington Metro Park to explore and commune with water and land and flora and fauna. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for letting me go on those trips. My gratitude also goes to those stewards who protected and shared their lakes and streams, our lakes, Michigan Inland Lakes and Streams, so that I, so that all of us may enjoy the delights of fresh water throughout our lives. I'm also grateful and honored for my fellow riparians, friends and acquaintances, experts at businesses, associations, local colleges and universities, governments, nonprofits, all those agencies that I've reached out to near and far who've walked with me through stewardship. Their encouragement and advice, education, shoulder to shoulder work, and well, you know, all those numerous ways people help. Um, they've helped me garner a deeper understanding of our water and land ecosystems, and they helped me to continue on 
despite challenges and along with the successes to work to be a good steward and to spur others on to be good stewards. So thank you, Michigan Lakes and Streams Association and fellow stewards. Let's pledge to continue to support and guide each other as we inspire others to understand, love, and protect our lakes and streams. Let's do that for the benefit of at least the next seven generations, generations of people, critters, and plants. With clean water, <laughs> here's to healthy lakes, streams, and shorelands. Thank you. Here, here. Thank you, Carol. That was that was beautifully said. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, and congratulations. Uh, next uh, next award is our master's jacket. Uh, the MLSA Board of Directors is pleased to announce, and it's unanimously voted uh, to recognize John Wilkes of Indian Lake in Kalamazoo County as having earned the privilege of wearing the MLSA master's jacket in 2021 and into the future. It looks like he's got it on right now. So and. Oh, that really nice, really nice looking John. Uh, John's been a board member of MLSA for nearly a decade and has served as vice president since 2018. Uh, he's provided a knowledgeable and steady hand for MLSA as it worked uh, through the transition to where we are today. Uh, John has been a faithful partner at our conferences, selling our books, and was almost always the perennial winner of the bag of peanuts gift, <laughs> the first person uh, to register for the conference. Uh, John and his spouse Nancy further have been active in MLSA's Region 3 activities for over a decade. John and Nancy also teamed up and led the India Lake Association of Vicksburg for years and made it become among one of the best in the state. John also walks the walk, I can personally testify, and following the Natural Shoreline Partnership Guidelines, I was the first person on Indian Lake to plant a natural shoreline. Please join us in celebrating John Wilkes as the most recent, recent riparian to earn the uh, MLSA Master's Award jacket. John, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, yesterday, the doorbell rang and I opened the door and there was Melissa with the jacket. I, I was really surprised and I appreciate this award very much and I'm humbled by it because over the years I've worked with many skilled and talented and dedicated people on the MLSA board. Well, likely I will have to share this jacket with my wife because she has many years experience living on a lake and she finally convinced me to move to Indian Lake in Kalamazoo County. And when I moved here, I, my background as a farm boy from Wisconsin was that I knew a lot about cows, but not much about lakes. And she likes to remind me almost weekly that she she uh, made me a lake person. So I, I appreciate this award very much. I will wear the jacket with pride and thank you for this recognition. 